Oh, that was a minute off. Classic. Classic me. Bare just just ever so slightly. Being off. Why is the Why is the volume so low? Hold on, let me. Let me turn that up a little bit. It's still really low. Oops. Oh, now, now it might be a little bit too high. Man, I don't, I don't understand how stupid things work. Yeah, that's way too loud. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that back down. <laughs> Back down a little bit. I don't know why it's um, or at least it's showing these um these button presses to be significantly louder than than this, which is strange. Oops. All right, I I don't know, chat. I don't know. It's a thing. I'll figure it out, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, I, this is just how live streaming is, honestly, Kendricks. This is just the law. It's not a stream if something isn't broken. Something's always broken. I've talked about this previously, but yeah, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> Right, there is never, like, everything is never working 100%. There's always at least one thing that's, uh, crapped out a little bit. I really wish there was a way to put tags and stuff in without having to do it uh, manually while the stream is, like, actually going on. Or maybe it's an OBS thing, I don't know. It is an OBS thing. All right, next update. Can we please, uh, can we get on that, please? Let me, uh, that'd be pretty nice. Super cool and groovy and all of that stuff. Guess I'm spawning here. Here is not the greatest spawn in the world, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah, the hunter spawned like over there, so. So we good. It's fine. Everything's fantastic and great. Hoping to get up to uh, Griffin 2 in this session is the goal. Uh, it's about two stars of a goal. So I think it's doable, but I'm going to have to like actually win today. What's up, cookies? How's it going? How's your day been? Oh, is there maintenance? Uh, yeah, there is maintenance today, I guess. There would be. I don't know why I always forget about it. But yeah, maintenance would make a lot of sense to be on today. What's up, Rackling? How's it going? Yeah, I'd be surprised if maintenance wasn't a thing. It's like always on Wednesday. And unless there's like very few times where it doesn't that. That's uh, Ivy. Wait, I'm confused. Was that mercenary? Bro, what did I just witness? Why was mercenary hiding? <laughs> Wait, what? There's question marks floating all around my head right now. What's up, Razel? How's it going? Yeah, this is fine. This is okay. She has uh, insolence, which is interesting. I don't really see that very often. Anyway, did anybody watch uh, Call of the Abyss uh, Day 6 of the group stage? Um, I watched, like, part of the first games and then just didn't. I, I was really disappointed, actually. I looked at the, like, the schedule and just, like... There was there was no games until until like the last one. Like the only real match was the last match and 
Like, that's, like, really, really late uh, in the evening for me. Well, actually, it's early in the morning. <laughs> so, uh, ain't, ain't no way I'm taking the time to go, uh, to go view that. Uh, but yeah. So, you know. I, I do also feel bad, bro. Like, every time Cat plays, the chat is just not good. <laughs> bro, wh what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. I should just turn this off. That way I don't have to worry about stupid things. But yeah. Where are the cy- why do we have no ciphers anywhere? Where did the ciphers get completed in this match? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cookies. That sucks. That's such a petty thing to do. <laughs> That's so petty. If it's like the way I'm thinking it is, like who does that? It's like the most petty thing ever. Yeah, every time Cats plays the Call of the Abyss chat, just kind of, I don't know, it debates stupid things. It debates really stupid things. Well, mostly two things, because most of it's about their hunter. Like, every time I look at the chat, I'm like, man, I feel so bad for their hunter. Like, I really hope they don't, like, this is not the chat in other regions, and I hope that they don't look at the English one. Because it's just like... I don't know, who- it- oh my gosh, it would be so awkward to look at that and just be like, weird. Yeah, what's up Mars, how's it going? But anyway, yeah, so it call- it's called the Abyss Chat, right? It's always just- and you know, it's the NAU community, right? It's just never not gonna be toxic, right? That's just the that's just the rule of uh, of life, right? There are there are there are certain certainties in this world, you know, death, taxes, um, NAU being constantly toxic and horrible. Right, you can't get away from these things. Speaking of taxes, oh my god. Literally, you know, I'm tr I'm trying to do taxes right now, and it is such a, it is such a runaround for no reason. Oh, that's why. I was confused for a second. It is the most stupid thing. <laughs> like I hate it with every every essence of my being. Oh no! Did they get basemented? Shit. Oh no, they just went, like, all the way over here for some reason. Okay, the blink. The blink has happened. Worst things. I really just wanted to not get um, damaged in that rescue. It was really important for that to not happen. Oh wait, I didn't get it before half? Oh wait, no, it was a... It wasn't even available for before half. Well, GG. And this should have been a draw. This should have been a draw, but I don't know. I don't know, I think Composer just kind of stayed close enough to the Hunter where she could do stuff. It was unfortunate. Oh, I have it primed now. I don't know if he wants, uh... 
I focus on decoding or not. Okay, I'm just gonna take that as a pop. I'm just gonna take it as he's saying to pop. Because I don't know otherwise what it's trying to trying to say. Yeah, that's nice. Like, it's either focused on decoding or, like, not that. I don't know why. Whatever, I'm not trying to escape. I'm trying to surrender. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's just TikTok in general. Cookies. I'm not gonna lie. That's just that's just TikTok in a nutshell. Right. Very very few things come out of TikTok. Oh bet, man, the hunter had a had a fake team tag. That is as an interesting choice. As a very interesting choice on that. Anyway, I think I forgot to capitalize something. That's fine. How's it going, Aggie? Welcome to the stream. How's your day been? But yeah. I agree. SDNK is a good hunter. Like, they are a really good hunter. And they do not deserve all of the... All of the stuff that's going on. No one does. It's just NAU region being... NAU region, unfortunately. Hey, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I made it work. I did it. Banning Ivy. Woohoo. Still don't think Ivy is a good character. <laughs> Hello, Grisham. How's it going? Yeah, I don't know. TikTok is just a TikTok is just an interesting place. All right, I feel I don't know. Tick there's just there's nothing good on TikTok, man. All right, there's some funny stuff, but I feel like TikTok just I, I don't know. I don't know why, but just nothing good ever comes out of TikTok, man. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is, Cookies. Some people just... Some people don't understand that you lose and you also, like, you know, you lose some, you win some. You know, the important part is the learning process happens. Like, some people don't understand that not everyone they play with is, like, a flawless human being. And, you know, I get it. We're all guilty of doing that. You know, myself included, obviously. It's very much like you get caught up in the heat of the moment, but like going out and recording videos and stuff about that is like just I don't know, it's just so extra. <laughs> oh great, it's an opera singer, GG. Well, time to try and learn or try and do things that I learned from Call the Abyss. I'm gonna try and be good at video games for for a quick little bit. They're not using the shadows uh, optimally, that's for sure. There. But as much time as I could, I'm just gonna use the gun now. Or I'm gonna miss the gun. Chat, I pulled a, I, I pulled a, pulled a bad coordinator moment. Oh, I'm getting hit with the don't rescue me. Oof. It hurts. Yeah. Well, uh, this is what you get when you don't ban R, right? I'm blaming, I'm blaming them. They ban Ivy instead of Opera Singer, all right? Your fault. <laughs> Your fault, team. It's not my fault. It's not my bad guy. You guys don't ban Opera Singer. I tried to... 
She was, like, doing a lot of dodging. I really tried to go into a place where I could hit her with the gun easily, but I just did not achieve that at all. Well, it is what it is. No, oh, the blink. I'm so sad. Yeah, Opera's just hard. This is why I still ban Opera. Opera's just better than Shadow. Like, I feel like it's just objectively true at this point. Like, I just... <laughs> I don't know why people still ban Shadow. It just doesn't make sense to me. Opera is... Opera is like the greater than symbol over Shadow. <laughs> Oh no, I disagree. I don't think Shadow's very- Like, I, Shadow's good, don't get me wrong, right? The farm. Alright, like, Shadow's good, don't get me wrong, but Shadow's not, like, good enough- Like, not ban-worthy, in my opinion. Shadow is just not ban-worthy. It's just how it is. Like, Opera Singer's just- Just 10x Shadow, I feel. Like, Shadow, like, you can win with Shadow, but Opera Singer's just, like, better in every way. Like, all Shadow really has, like, you can kite Shadow, is the thing. Especially early game, like, you can kite Shadow. You cannot kite Opera Singer. Like, the whole thing with Opera Singer is you basically have to pray that you can get, like, a, a somewhat decent early game kite. And that's, like really the whole thing that's like the whole thing it is <laughs> shadow you you have opportunities to to still win she's only like really dangerous later in the game when she has like that teleporting nonsense that she can just zoom around the map what's up yfam welcome to the stream hope your day has been going well appreciate the luck with the matches <laughs> So far with the way things have been going, I'm going to need it. <laughs> already, uh, already two losses. <laughs> Fingers crossed we can turn that around. <sighs> what map are we on? Factory? Okay. I'll play Officer. Officer can do good here. But yeah, I just, I don't think Ivy's that great. Like, people think Ivy's so strong. Like, I just, she's strong, but she's just not, she's just not that great. She's not that great, man. I, I don't know. I, sh I should do a poll. I should do a stream poll for... Which is the better ban? I'll do that, uh, I'll do that after this match, if I don't forget. I can't believe, though, that we actually did, like, a good spawn. It's kind of crazy. I really like this spawn idea because, I mean, if Painter was a support character, it would be better. Painter technically is. If Prospector had spawned where Painter was, it would have been, like, the best. Because, you know, you, you, you guys know how I feel about Painter, alright? I just... His paintings are not effective enough. They're just not that great. Like, they're mildly helpful. Oh my god, it's a dream witch. You know, like, they're mildly helpful, but... I just... I just don't like his paintings. I, I don't know what else to say other than that. It's just... It's just what it is, chat. His paintings are just not impactful on the match. Or not as impactful as they need to be. Okay, can you fucking go away, please?
I didn't realize that they were on me until like a little bit too late. Uh, pallet's gone, unfortunately. Well, um, they, they've wasted a lot of time finding a chase target. I don't know if they were looking for Composer and Composer was hiding. No, Composer's definitely been decoding. I don't know why they would spend that long looking for a chase then. Kind of crazy. Then I guess Prospector is fine. I don't know. Like, they could have chased me. I'm, I'm like the only Tide Turner on the team, I think. So chasing me is like not that bad. I don't know. Hey, I'm not complaining. This is a good start for us. This is probably winning position, I think. Yeah, definitely winning position. Second period of the day, Kendrix. Let's go. One one down. Um, I well, I would imagine three more to go. That's how I th that's how school works, I think. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Where's the deleaching sigil? Uh, not really anywhere around where I am, unfortunately. Oh, oh, he's dead here. Okay. Okay, what's this at? Okay, this is kind of close, actually. I'm kind of close. I can maybe force her to... Come over here and be annoying to me. Alright, okay. But yeah, you, you know what? I will take it. Force abnormal on the cypher? Alright, she has no more good uh, resource. I wish I had a way of pinging this. But that's amazing, actually, for us. Like, they don't... Oh, wow, she's going for me. Wait, is she? I don't know what she's doing, actually. Okay, no, wow, she's going for me. Dang, okay. Well, I probably I probably could have not thrown that pallet, but it's okay. Honestly, that's fine. Oh no, she does have a leech on the prospector, actually. But the the sandwich situation can't come out for a while. There's still only one cipher left. This is fine. This is so fine. Actually, okay, this is less fine. Okay, now we need to heal. Someone needs to get healed. Or we need to deco. We need we need to do something. I don't know what my teammates are doing right now, but it doesn't look like they're accomplishing like that much at this moment, and we really need to accomplish things at this moment. Um, probably heal me, I guess. What's up, breathing? How's it going? Just played a match with me? Okay, finger- Oh! Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is a watch. Even if I don't, like, 100% need it, I get- I still- you know what? It wasn't needed, but Consolation Prize, I get 7% boosted decoding, so... Yay. <laughs> yeah, hopefully- hopefully it wasn't that coordinator match. That was- that was not my finest game, right there. Uh, that was- right? That was far away from my best moment. Okay, I don't- I don't know if my team has a cipher that they're working on or not. Like, I'm confused. I'm confused what they're doing. That would be funny if the only reason she went for me is if the first officer illusion was successful. I'd find that very entertaining. I mean, it did make it better for us. At the end of the day, like, Prospector was able to survive, which is good. Okay, she abnormaled this again. But her spawn follower's over there, so it's still okay. Uh, yeah, as long as... Okay, she has another abnormal, so we gotta just pop this pronto. We, we don't want this cypher getting abnormal again. That would be no bueno. Okay, so she's going over there. Yeah. 
Oh, the Gardener match? Okay. Okay, did marginally better in the Gardener match. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, that, that would have been... Right, that would have been quite... <laughs> I'd have some explaining to do if it was the coordinator game. I would have some real explaining to do there. Okay, this gate's open. I can't really... I might just leave. I can't really do anything to help my team other than body block, but I don't have any watches for a body block tide turner thing, so. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Taking an extended vacation. I have no more resources to really be helpful. Not sure why Composer is still over here. Maybe he was trying to get the other gate open, but I don't know why you would do that. Oh, this, it's a draw. It's a shame. That's a shame, yeah. This 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 was unfortunate. We could have won that. Oh well. Oh well, how the cookie crumbles. I could go for a cookie right now, actually. I haven't had a cookie in a long time. I actually started talking on the on the subject of sweets. I've started uh because my birthday cake put I put like raspberry filling in there. And we had some left over. So I've been just putting that on toast in the morning, and it's been, maybe not the most healthy thing, but it's been so nice. It's been delicious, and we're running out of it, and I'm sad about it. I, I, I might make more for the express purpose of doing this, <laughs> because, you know. Alright, so we're not in the biggest point deficit in the world. You know, just, just a little bit of one. Actually, how many points did I lose off the first game? Um, okay, so we're just two points in the, we're, we're just two points behind where we started. It's not that bad. All right, one more win and that can be equalized. Uh. Yeah, the early abnormal from the Dream Witch. I really wish I had a way of communicating that to the, to the rest of my team. Because I'm sure it would have been really helpful for them to know that the Hunter didn't have any like chasing traits anymore oh yeah i gotta do that pull hold on hold on making pull start a pull okay what is the best or to ban right now as survivor uh so we have or uh oh i I, d I didn't, uh, I didn't misspell, sh uh, singer chat. Oh, no, sh Is that how you spell... Is that how you spell opera singer's, like, actual name? I actually don't know. I almost never use, like, the actual names of characters. Uh... I got it right, Chell. Oh my gosh, my dyslexic ass actually got that right. It's probably because it's spelled exactly the way it sounds. There you go. Okay, the poll has been created. Alright, I'm I'm pretty sure most people are going to say Shadow. Even though I very much disagree with this. I very much disagree with the Shadow, but I think that's what most people are going to say. You know, through my, through my wise... Wise, um, old eyes. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was talking about. Um, so, I'll do whatever I do when I, <laughs> when I forget what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk about Call of the Abyss. Woohoo! Um, I think B4U actually has a chance of making it out of the group stage. I, I was, I was pretty, I was you know, I was pretty uh, skeptical, but I think that, you know, they, they got a shot, all right? There's, there, I'm saying there's a chance, chat. And if that happens, that would be crazy. Like, that would, that would be really, really crazy if that actually occurred. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Ever since the uh, group format has been, like, has begun, has been started to be used, literally... NAU, any team, has never won a single round. 
in the group format, let alone actually getting through the group, like the group stage. So if that was to be the case, that would be uh, really crazy and really cool. I'd very much uh, enjoy if that happened. So, yeah. You know. And it is, oh, they banned cheerleader. Cheerleader ban is interesting. You do not see a whole host of cheerleader bans. That is a rarity in this day and age. That is a real rarity. Yeah, I mean, cheerleader gets banned sometimes at COA as well. But, I don't know. I think cheerleader is good. But people, it's really hard to use cheerleader properly in random games, I think. Like, she has a place. I think she's like more of a competitive pick than a normal otherwise pick. Oh no, I digress. Well, I'm not really digressing. Anyway, you, you get the point. Alright, you get the point, chat. Alright, going on to other more interesting things. Like this match. And the fact that, um... I actually don't know who the hunter is going to chase. Probably Perfume. Well, I don't know. They, they could really chase Perfumer or um, Prospector here, actually. I think they, they, they really could do either one. Depends. I think if it was me, I would probably chase Prospector over Perfumer because Prospector only starts the game with, like, a magnet. So it's, like, less resources. He can charge them, but if you get him down fast, it doesn't really matter. Plus there's like, oh, never mind, it's a photographer. Never mind, chat. It's a, it's a Joseph. Oh, uh, throw all strategy and enjoyment out the window, I guess. Ooh, I need like a separate scene in OBS for when we're playing a Joseph match. Just like, I don't know, with like subway surfers or something on the side so we don't all get bored from how long and unfun these matches are. Oh boy, here we go. Look at the hunter go, they're doing things. Woohoo, go you. But yeah, it has been really refreshing. Seeing an NAEU team kind of hold their own. I agree, Aggie. It's been really nice to see. You know, especially since just in the past, our region has been just considered like, all right, we we go there and we just immediately get destroyed. And, you know, it, it, all that's just what it is. All right, that's that's just what the that's how the story goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is really nice. That that this year has kind of, I don't know, b 4 us put up a fight, right? Even in the matches that they've lost, right, they've at least, like, contested. Like, it wasn't, you know, just like, not even, not even close, just easy wins. Like, b 4 you actually did stuff. Which is nice, and that's just not how it's been in the past. You know, the, the reality of the situation. Oh, he's not taking a picture. Yes. Alright, hopefully you have magnets, my friend. Okay, he did have magnets. Yay. Alright, well, I... Here we go. Alright, we're decoding basically for the rest of the game now. Oh, he's still a blank. Woohoo! Cypher is gonna get, probably get reset at some point as well. Great, um, fantastic, and wonderful. Uh, anyway. Yeah, Call of Duty, this has been nice this year. It's been nice to have a team to, like, actually root for and know that they have a, a chance at winning. You Like, as small as that chance is, it's it's just really nice to to have a to have a champion, you know what I'm saying? All right, you know what I mean, chat. It, it's just it's nice to have someone 
where it's like you there there's there's that like grain of hope that they can you know go the distance instead of just being like yeah it's not even it's not even a chance it's not even beginning which is really cool it is really cool indeed unfortunately omni is not having the same luck i think they got a tougher group than before you did though uh, just in general That's the, uh, that's the annoying part of the group stage. There is some luck involved on the teams that you, uh, that you have to play against to advance. So, yeah, there, there is that, but, you know. And the group stages uh, have actually almost concluded. Uh, today is day seven. Can you leave me alone, please? All right. I just don't want, I, like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't need this in my life right now. All right, come on. Come on, you think you were going to hit me with that? All right, that's the oldest trick in the book. The only trick in the book, actually, for photographer. All right, it's not, it's not just the oldest. It is, it is the only one, in fact. <laughs> he does not have any other tricks. That is his only chasing skill. Unless you count blink. And he's just going to take a photo. Um, I didn't elbow pad as nicely there as I would have appreciated myself to do. I would have liked to have done better. Ran on composer by mistake. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. Alright. The, the day... The day photographer loses haters is the day that I have dropped dead. <laughs> like there's, all right, there is no, there is no world where I, like, endorse this character, unless he gets significantly altered, and they basically gut his entire gameplay and make him f even the smallest amount enjoyable. Right then, then, then maybe, maybe we could talk if that happens. But I, d I don't think that will ever happen. All right, he would have to get reworked so severely. Yeah, watch this though. He's gonna just come and he's gonna pick me up, even though he never even hit me. This is great. This is fantastic gameplay. I have fun with that. I like games where I don't get to kite at all and then just die because he hit and downed my photo image. This is a great feeling. This is such a good feeling. I don't... There is no feelings that are better than just dying even though I didn't kite the hunter at all. They didn't do anything skillful to down me in any way. They just... They just did. Such such great gameplay. So fun. He yeah, probably has blink up by now. Now I'm just dead off of this chair too. Oh no, well, there's the blink. Ooh. So fun just sitting in this chair. Didn't even get a chance to kite. It's so great. So great. I love this character. I love this character so much. Like, I feel like this is just inarguable. Like, how objectively poor that gameplay experience is. Like, I, I, don't, I don't feel like you can really argue against the fact that that is just... That is not a good feeling. You removed every fun part about the game. Right there. All enjoyment has just been... Has, has just been completely skewered, you know, in favor of random chance and hide-and-seek bullshit games. Anyway. <laughs> enough sour grapes. But honestly, I really think Photographer needs to get, like, some sort of significant gameplay update. All right, like they need to do something to n so it's not that. Because that is just <laughs> don't like I don't know. When when I would not stream, 
Like, I would just turn off the game, because that's, that's how genuinely unfun that kind of thing is for me. And it's boring, too. It's not even like... I don't know, it's not even like there's other fun aspects of the game. Like, it takes forever as well. It's not, it's not like a normal-sized game, too. It's boring, it's unfun, and it takes longer than every other match, too. If it was boring and unfun, at least it could do is, like, not go super slowly. And even, ugh, I don't know. I mean, we all know I hate, like, hunters that can slow down the game like that. Photographer is just a such a bad example. Like, literally the worst execution ever. Because even hunters like Cleric or, um, well, Hermit can... There's, like, some sort of interesting something to the gameplay. At least you get to kite them. At least there's, like, a semblance of strategy. Photographer just doesn't have that. It's so infuriating. <laughs> I go on this rant, alright? I go on this, like, 15-minute rant every single time I play against this character. Because it's so... It grinds my gears so much, chat, alright? Those gears have been ground into dust, and they still continue to churn while disintegrated on the ground. That's how much I hate this character. That doesn't, that, that doesn't even make a lot of sense, but I don't care. <laughs> alright, we're gonna pretend like it makes sense. I'm probably never gonna get an A badge for him. I, I, I did I did my time. All right, I got the C badge. Right, it it happened. I plan on not really ever playing him again because it's just, it's boring. Even playing as him, it's just plain old fashioned boring. You know, you do the same thing. All all you do, like, there's no, I don't know. There's no thought process. At least when I played him. I didn't play him in high tier, I guess, but when I played him, there's just no, like, actual thought process that really happened very often. Sometimes there was, but very rarely. It was just all the same, cut and dry. You go hit a survivor, you do, like, fast recovery stuff at the chair, and then, you know, you just, you, you avoid playing the game as photographer. You literally avoid playing the game as photographer as much as possible. That's just... That's just how photographer goes. Man, this matching time is taking a while. But yeah, I, I have no interest in playing him. I have no more interest. Like, I don't, I don't understand how people can play him and achieve, like, such high amounts of character points and him be, like, the only hunter they play. I don't get it. It is so anti-fun to me. Like, I would sooner quit the game before doing that. It's just, it's so... Like, if I had to play Hunter and Photographer was the only Hunter I could play, like, I would quit the game. Like, it's just so unfun. <laughs> and it's so bland and boring. The only kind of slight amount of brain power you need to use is for his footstep trick, and even that is, like, super simple. It's just, ugh. Anyway, like I said, okay, enough, enough about complaining about this character. <laughs> we, we all, we all know by now how I, how I despise him. Alright, if, if I could never see his face again, I would be very happy. Is the worst thing. Has Leo's memory. Depends. I might play Wildling. There's a Prospector. I'm gonna play Wildling here. I like Wildling. Wildling is kind of nice. Especially for times like this, where it's like, I really don't want to lose any more points. Wild Link can be just, it's just a really nice, solid pick. Oh, they left Priestess open. Didn't realize. We had three Tide Turners. It means we probably can draw for sure. I think bringing in a lot of Tide Turners into a match is really valuable. 
It's really good to just have a lot of tide turners. You get multiple rescues happening. That's good. I don't understand the priestesses spawn that much, but... Oh well. Probably some sort of idea. And prospector. Maybe could have spawned differently, because what's going to happen is the hunter's probably... Okay, maybe not. I was thinking the hunter would spawn bottom right. And then that would block the priestess's cipher. And then it would make me have to rotate kind of awkwardly. And then they could just go for the weak character, which is obviously spawning in a uh, building. But uh, them going there is okay, I guess. It's not even that good to force Priestess to run into Prospector myself either, because we can just support. So I, I don't like that spawn from the Hunter. I think that's a bad spawn. But anyway. <laughs> spawn dice. Spawn dissections have become just such a... A thing that I do a little bit too frequently, I think. I think I dissect spawns a little bit too much these days, but... Sometimes it's good to, you know, overthink things a little bit. Oh, dang, it's the Soul Weaver? You don't see those every day. It's been a while since I've seen a Soul Weaver chat. That is uh, definitely not the greatest place to kite a Soul Weaver, though, for sure. Because you, you gotta use those pallets sparingly, which is hard against a Weaver. And then even that, like, because once those pallets are gone... And even when they're up, like, the amount of webs that the Soul Weaver can place down in that area is a lot. There's a lot of work a Soul Weaver can do right there. Honestly, on the rest of this map, though, not that great, but there specifically is one of the best places. You might be matching with uh, EU players, Grizz. Might be, uh, might be what's happening. A lot of times, I saw this somewhere where um, the matching was changed, so there's like an EU server, and whoever has the most players in the match, that's the server it plays on. So it could potentially be that. Hmm. Training mode? Uh, never mind then. I assumed it was ranked, my bad. weird. It's probably just the Wi-Fi then, I would imagine. I don't know what else it could be. Because, uh, the server, the server itself is definitely not lagging. Definitely not a global issue. I guess my job this entire game is just gonna be to decode annoyingly. Played Wildling, not the greatest character for just sitting on ciphers all game. But, you know, sometimes it's just what you gotta do. I'm not gonna try to shoehorn in um, any sort of, like, harassment. It's just... Not, not the place for it. Not the place for it. Because psychologists will rescue and prospector will go in for the harass. You know... So that's just gonna be have gonna be how it is. Get the uh, two hundred percent decoding as a wildling, <laughs> which is pretty painful. It's a shame psychologist couldn't get the body block down. Hopefully, prospector can do some harassing. It's gonna take me a while to finish this cipher though because of my like really large decoding debuff and also two panic. But accelerated decoding exists. Oh, Prosser, pros, Prospector didn't get the harassment. Prosser. I, I like that, actually. Gonna, gonna start calling them the Prosser. Here's the Prosser chat. Yeah, Hunter goes for that now. I'm doing alright today, Aggie. Nothing special. No, just 
Just your just your average day. Okay. Yeah. If you want to join after this match, you can. Uh, cookies. That can definitely happen. Try to get some points. You guys can carry me. It'll be great. Yeah, I literally... This entire match... <laughs> I don't know, I wish my teammates would ping something. So I could know if I want to harass with the boar or not, or like, help them get to the... Help them get away. Or maybe not. I'll go on the boar anyway. Oh, it actually rides the boar. It's cool. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It could have been it could have been a win if uh, a little bit more time was bought for the priestess. But you know, it happens. Can't have every game perfect. Every game cannot be cannot be fantastic and wonderful and great. Not always how it is. Only one point for that. That's the annoying part of decoding all game. Sometimes point calculation is really annoying. Like, it's nice sometimes and good. But other times it's really annoying, like there. It's like, bro, one point for having to do 200% decoding is fucking wildling. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> right, you gotta be joshing me. It's unbelievable. It would have been really nice if I could have gone and to harass the hunter and do like stuff there, but just wasn't really an option that was there. Couldn't really make it happen. Would have loved to make it happen, but couldn't make it happen. Which is a shame, but you know, not all games are perfect. I would like to at least go up some points today. Like, I've gone down. Only. And it feels like a lot of the games, you know, like, that photographer match, I don't, I don't know if I deserved to lose points because, I mean, I think that's just photographer being photographer, but it's not like I did bad. Like, I kited him. I did everything that I was supposed to do. I did my job. It's just photographer doesn't care, and then my teammates could, couldn't rescue me, so I just got to sit on the chair the whole time. Basically. Like, I, I did my job as good as you can do it. And still lost five points, which is really annoying. That's just like, that's just like a photographer moment. I don't even have time, like, a chance to clutch up, because photographer is just anti-fun gameplay avoidance. That's good to hear, Aggie. Managing to get uh, a good rank team is always a really nice thing. Getting carried in rank is a good feeling. <laughs> it's it's really nice to get carried. What's up, Coffee? How's it going? Man, the Night Watch ban is out there. The Night Watch ban is interesting. That's like that's like trauma right there, I guess. Right, you don't see a lot of the a lot of those bands just at all, really. I don't know. Wait, what was the map? Church. I'm gonna try this idea. I want to try thief a little bit more. I like practice a bit with him. Good to hear you're doing well. Doing alright. Been, I don't know, just just been slightly losing my mind over doing taxes. Taxes are fucking... The worst. <laughs> so annoying. 
Like, the, it's, the, the system is so complicated. Alright. Like, it, it's so convoluted. And, you know, I would call it a national embarrassment how difficult and hard to understand and intentionally obtuse the instructions are if that wasn't just the way it was in every other country also. Like, the way taxes work is just... Like, or maybe it isn't that way in every country, but... Uh, it definitely is that way in Canada, and I'm pretty sure it's that way in the U.S. as well. Actually the worst. Yeah, Thief was used once in Call of the Abyss. I think he's actually decent. Uh, it depends on the map, of course, but I think Thief is usable. Thief is definitely very usable. His, uh, his flashlighting is, is hard to do. I like to pull off the flashlight really well. But Thief is definitely... Thief is definitely a good character. Being able to set down the mini flashlights as well is actually really good. Like, because I can support... If someone comes through church... And this is better on voice... If someone comes through church, like, I can go set up, like, lights on the hunter. Okay, well, it's not very good against Dream Witch, unfortunately. But then, like, they get stunned while they vault, and it takes a really long time. So, Thief can actually be really strong, I think, in maps with, um... Maps with, like, important windows. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get vault blocked. Oh! Oh, that's so lucky! Oh, that's so lucky! She vault blocked me, but it didn't matter. Oh. <laughs> because the follower went around to the other side. Oh, that's great. They didn't switch. Alright, actually got the stun, though. I want to bait the leech going over there. Well, actually, I can just kind of chill in this area. Oh, wait, no. No, no. My, my, I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that was not useful. That was not useful at all. Okay, well, she's leaving me. There, the power of thief, chap. Power of Thief, even though that wasn't really thiefy, but it definitely, definitely did stuff, which was nice. <laughs> it's a bare minimum. Got that flashlight stun, which was really important, though. The flashlight stun was really, really important. And the nice thing is, as well, is if you si- I'm pretty sure if you silence a follower... Like, it, it prevents the, the Dream Witch from switching to her other followers as well. So if you're in a sandwich situation, like, if you can silence one of the followers, like, you're kind of just good. You can run away. At least I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. But I just thought of this now. I'm not sure if it blocks that ability or not. I need to read up on... Uh, on how long it takes for the mini flashlights to actually be dis dismantled. Or like, n not dismantled, but go away like naturally. I need to recheck that. Oh, Acrobat didn't go for the rescue? Okay. Well, I'm coming then. I'm probably just gonna get leeched, but oh, patroller. Oh, I after half did because the patroller, I'm so sad. Well, I'm going over here then. If I can't buy uh, enough time while rescuing like that, I will just buy time rescuing like this. Uh, and Cookies also has Tide, so...
I probably should have let the, the psychologist rescue, but it's okay. Oh, they missed the blink really badly there, actually. Alright, there we go. Got the silence off. Yeah, I think the silence does actually. It does actually prevent them from doing that. Oh, they missed the blink. Oh! Oh, I think the silence prevented the blink. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is that what happened? Okay, I was not paying attention. Shoot. Okay, I need to remove this. Oh, dungeon is here. I don't know if they're chasing the psychologist or not. They switched to that follower, so... Oh, 100% doing it. Yeah, I'm surprised though Dreamwitch didn't hit the patroller off of me. It would have been a much better play, I would say. Oh wait, the main body is still here? Wait, what were they doing then? Why was the main body still at this gate? Okay, I'll take it. Thief OP, yeah. Thief, thief actually did pretty decently there. I want to start bringing the thief out, alright? I want to start trying it on Red Church and uh, Ever Sleeping Town. Because those have, like, important windows. And I want to just, want to just bring it out, you know, here and there, maybe a little bit sparingly. Just to kind of get some, some practice in on it. Because it, it isn't bad. Or maybe as well on, um, maybe less, but maybe on Leo's memory it could be a thing too, because of that one really good window. I don't know what other maps it would be good on. I mean, maybe... The, the problem is, like, a lot of those other good windows, they're, like, already God Kite. Like, I'm thinking maybe Hospital, but God Kite window is already, like, super strong. Like, you can make it really strong with Thief, but it's... You know, if you're kiting there already, it's already really strong, and the hunter's probably not going to chase you there, so... But, like, maybe... Like, the hunter will probably chase you if it's uh, ever sleeping town. The hunter might chase you if it's church. And those are, like, good windows for Thief. There's memory. All right, well, we'll try it. You know what? I'm, br I'm bringing it out again. I'm going to... I'm gonna give it another go on on memory. We'll see if it can work. Again, it's one of those things that works better with uh, voice <laughs> because I can I can go set up like min miniature flashlights at like the important window, for example. You know, especially if it's like, I don't know, for example, like a mind's eye kiting. You know, someone, like, you know 100%, the hunter's gonna go for that. And then I can go set up, like, flashlights in the top. Put two flashlights down. It could be really good. Um, I don't enjoy the dancer's spawn uh, too much, to be honest with you. I feel like it's better if either psychologist or toy merchant spawns there. I mean, Toy Merchant could have also spawned mid. Maybe to, like, put the catapults down. And then probably Psychologist would be best to go to there. Like, the big the big building. And then I would spawn, like, Shaq or something. And Dancer could go, like, somewhere on the right. Because better box spots. That might be, that might be a thing. That might be a thing that could happen. I don't know if cookies are, or if cookies and Rat Queen are chill with VC, Aggie, but I don't think it's, um, 
or I don't know. It's, it's, I don't really want to ask because it's kind of an uncomfortable situation to put somebody in, which I don't want to do. You know, because it, it would be on stream and stuff. So unless someone like specifically asks for that, like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put it on the spot because it could, you know, me just asking, especially because, you know, I'm the streamer or whatever, like kind of creates pressure, which I really don't want to do. Like I don't want to force anyone into an uncomfortable situation. You know, so I just generally am okay with the in-game ping system for all the faults it has. You know, I really don't want to... Really don't want to just kind of, I don't know, make a, make a bad situation for people. Nah, it's a totally valid suggestion, Aggie. Like, totally 100% valid. It's just, you know... Sometimes I have to think about things in like a different way due to the stream. I just get harassed off my cipher if I don't rescue this, so kind of forced. I really just want to get rid of this uh, cipher if I can. Yeah, I know. The the dancer taking uh, factory was uh, really bad. Yeah, it was a very poor choice from the dancer. I'm gonna pretend like he doesn't see me. Okay. Okay, pretending has concluded. Everything is so fine. I really please. Let me do my cypher, you mean man. Oh, that was in range? Damn it, bro. Okay, I'm just transitioning over here then. Alright, I know exactly what the hunter's gonna do. Alright, come on. Can we not do this, please? Alright, feasters, stupid. Oh, there's a, there's a thing here. Can I flash him on this, on the stairs? Oh, it doesn't work as well as I thought it was going to work. Doesn't work as well as I thought it was going to work, chat. Oh, oh, that got me! Oh, I have, I have, I have objections that that hit me. I was so far away from the window. Oh, I'm so salty. Bro, I was feeling like such a badass too, dodging all the tentacles as well. Damn it. Elliot, is my cipher finished? I don't know. My cipher isn't finished and that's like a, a thing that should happen. Oh, dancer. Dude, this dancer is not making good decisions in this game. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say how it is. I don't think this dancer has made good decisions this game at all. It's okay, cookies. It's fine. It's not really, like, I, I think a lot of it was to do with the... With the, with the dancer not allowing... Not allowing for things. God damn it. I'm just gonna try and get out of that area. That's all I can do. Okay, was well, the hit really necessary? Your full presence already. That was just a toxicity hit. That's mean. I think Toy Merchant was already on a cipher. I don't know why Dancer didn't come to rescue. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not pleased with the way Dancer played this game. I think they made a lot of mistakes. They just I I don't see it. I don't understand why they would like I get they have they have music boxes, I guess, and they're going to rescue Oh my goodness gracious. 
What is this dancer costume, by the way? I don't think I've ever seen this. Well, that's like Crodo on drugs. But yeah, no, that that was um, that was a lot a lot of mistakes from the dancer in that game. I'm not gonna lie. I think they just had a lot of logical oopsie daisies. I'm a little sad. I wanted to get that. I was so excited. I wanted to get that uh, factory loop happening. If he didn't hit me over that window, like, it was over. I was going to set up a flashlight. He was going to get stunned. Like, I was going to loop him there for so long. But he, like, somehow he reached his little tentacle hand. Like, I, I don't know, like, seven, like, lengths over the window and actually got it. Like, I cannot believe he got the tentacle there. Like, that was, that was insane. Bro, I must have been, like, I, I don't know, a millimeter away from not getting hit. And if I didn't get hit, I was looping him for a long time. If that didn't hit me over the window, but... Well, unless I get blinked or something, which is possible. Yeah. What's up, Chila? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope your day's been going well. Yeah, the, the the feast room is really good with the tentacle placements, for sure. Like, they, they did really good with those. Like, they were putting them down in good places. I managed to dodge them because I know, like, the, the circle, right? I have the technology <laughs> and the feaster. Like, they were trying to long distance tentacle me. Like, I can just do the circles around them and it's not that big of a deal for me. Um, even though sometimes I mess it up. Uh, when it gets hard is when the feaster is, like, kind of... Like, kind of near you, and then it you try to do the circle technology, but then, like, he's right beside you, so you kind of have to take a physical hit. That's where it gets, like, really difficult. Especially if you have a curse mark. That's all good. We all make mistakes, Chila. Don't gotta dwell on them too much. As long as we understand the mistakes and we improve ourselves from them, it's, you know... Right, it's not, it's not really a big, it's not really a big deal. It is what it is. Right, I'm not, I'm not sitting here about to pretend like I haven't gotten, like, downed in, you know, 15 seconds before. Or missed to say I've got terror shocked, etc. Yeah, photographer, I don't know. That's just what you do as photographer. Pretty much, it's just how it is. He just looks to... I don't know, photographer is just a special case, alright? Like, let's be honest. Photographer just goes out of his way to... To not play the game, and just, it's, uh it's the worst. His camping is so unassumingly annoying. Because his recovery is so fast. Yeah, anyway. Back to, back to the match at hand. Arms factory. Might not, might not bring out the thief for this one. Oh no, it depends. Priestess is allowed. I'm really liking the thief though. I've I've been enjoying the thief. He's better. I'm gonna go with another <laughs> default. Another default character. All right, hit me, hit me that lawyer pick. I think lawyer is really good. I know Eli O specifically on like the Call of the Abyss, you know, commentating. Just is really been <laughs> play lawyer, play lawyer, play lawyer. Like lawyer is really good. And I have to agree with this assessment. Like, I think Lawyer is a really, really wonderful pick. Um, I'm gonna spawn here. Oh, 
We'll see. I this this spawn is such a mess. Oh my gosh, this spawn is is a mess. We got we got a sideways rocket. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, no, I the this spawn. Oh boy. There's a lot of things. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go do art class and harass you all with the uh, with how I think spawns should be played. Again, all right. I've done that the last two streams, but <laughs> sideways rocket. In. That's what it is. It's a sideways rocket. I don't know. I don't know what else you could see there other than a um, a nice rocket ship, but that is um that is what I see. All right. You know that's just just how it is. Oh right, it's an axe play. I forgot. Axe boy swear. I feel like I always suck at axe boy. All right, the amount of I don't know the amount of looking behind me and then looking at the fireballs and I don't know three hundred sixty degree super movement on the camera like confuses me so much. Like I cannot deal with that. I'm going for oh they're in mid. Oh, does that mean they're transitioning over to me? Because that would be kind of scary. Emo King? Wait, which, which skin is the Emo King for a lawyer? Uh, dungeon is here, or a basement. I, I don't know any lawyer skins. I need to get, like, a decent lawyer skin, but I don't have, like, light... Or Light Yagami, or whatever it's called. And that's, like, pretty much his only good A tier. Like, I don't really like any of the other ones that much. It's not simple enough to just say, focus on decoding. Right? The hunter is, like, actively harassing my cipher. <laughs> what, do, what do you want from me? Okay, well, he expended the trade. I can live with that. I can live with the hunter losing his trait. I can't live with that, however. That's, uh, that's tougher to live with. Now he's, like, just coming back over here. So I thought I... I thought I clicked on the... the... the hidden vault... button. Oh! Like the... this skin... <laughs> Given emo vibes with this one. I can agree with that. I can agree here. I need to just go to a new cipher, honestly. It's probably what I should do, but I'm attached to this one. Nice, and Prospector's just AFK. Cool. Wonderful, great, fantastic. That's awesome. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish this cipher, and we're not gonna rescue him again. Don't you love it when your teammates go AFK chat? Isn't it so nice? I'm finishing this cipher, you stupid child. Hopefully gonna take down this tree as well, I would... Love to dismantle this and remove the restful souls from myself. Probably has blank. I, sh I really shouldn't be playing this game with him, but I'm playing this game with him. Oh, well, there's the blank. Well, it's not impossible. It's it's winnable. If, um... Toy Merchant goes to Psychologist Cypher. And... Because this is first chair, so they can wait a little bit. I didn't expect him to blink like that. 
I'll be honest with you, chat. Like psychologist should have been on route to uh, to rescue me a little bit earlier. I could have avoided uh, getting kind of cut off because the hunter can see the cipher shaking. He knows where they are. Just kind of an oversight, unfortunately. Dang. Could have maybe squeezed a draw out of this one, but it is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, it could have been a it could have been a win draw if Prospector hadn't AFK'd. Like it, it legit could have turned fine if Prospector just didn't quit the game. But Prospector quit the game, so this is what we get, right? Uh, the bad part about that, though, like the the most annoying part about it, is the game didn't like detect he was AFK, so we don't get like compensation points or anything. But yeah, I think we can all agree that that is going to be a report for non-participating. And we are going to hope that this player gets punished for that. Because that is very... It is very cringe behavior. Oh look, I'm level 88. Yay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's so annoying to lose points to that. That's such an annoying game to lose points to. I was doing fine. See, in all of these games, I feel like I'm not doing that bad. It's just shit hits the fan. Then, like, one mistake happens, and then someone, like, AFKs or does, like, some weird thing. And it turns into a literal loss. Bro, level 88 is, like, actually a, a lot. I don't understand how some people are, like, level 100, like, 120. You know, people are such high level. Like, how many matches do you play to achieve that? Like, it has to be so many. I mean, I've played 10,000 battles. I've played 10,000 and I'm only level 88. How do you get, like, almost double this level? I don't understand how many games you have to play to go there. It's insane. I have an MVP in almost 20% of my matches. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, it's a shame. I, I think we would have been <laughs> 88 still young for an old person. Ouch. What's up, Barry Trash? How's it going? The axe boy from the last match? GG's. You did good. You did good. I think I think we could have I think we could have got you though. Alright. I think we could have maybe got gotten uh, a win in that game if if our uh if our prospector hadn't disconnected. It could it could have happened, you know. Just maybe you did play you did play really well though. You did play well. You did good pressure on the ciphers, which which honestly we would have probably gotten a draw regardless if you didn't have good pressure on the ciphers like that. So yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I, I, yeah, people over level 100 are just crazy, right? I've been playing since, like, global launch. I'm only level 88, how do you, all right, I've been playing seven years, chat, seven. Good grief. Man, if that doesn't make you feel old, what will? What's up, Buttery Knives? How's it going? How's your day been? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I I appreciate that, Barry. You don't you don't need a like you know. 
you don't, you don't even take too much sympathy. You know, the, the, the tie would be, the tie would be chill, but you, you know, you don't have to like do that if you don't want to. All right, it's totally within your right to, to be competitive and try to gain points. But yeah, like, I don't know, the, the AFK hurt, the AFK hurt a little bit. Especially because we didn't get, like, points, like, compensation points for someone literally, th like, literally throwing the game. Yeah, four years, level 77. Aw, oh, dang, you're almost better, you're almost doing better than me. I don't even know, what is it, what even is the level cap right now? I don't even know how you look. Levels are just generally so unimportant. <laughs> you know, like, by the time you're hitting, like, level 88 and you get, like, 600 clues. Ooh, 600 clues. Which I'm gonna spend on what? I have, like, all the characters. Pretty much all the skins from Memory Spears I could want. I have, my room is pretty decked out. Like, I don't even know what I'm spending 600 clues on, but thanks, I guess. Um, town. okay. I'm bringing out- I'm bringing out the thief again, chat. <laughs> Bro, 310? That's crazy. That must- is- okay, are people really at the level cap, though? They're 10 levels a season. And do people really level up 10 times a season? Because if so, that's like, that's bananas. Okay, we could do the, we could do this, okay, never, never mind. Okay, well, whatever, this is fine. I, I, I would have changed my spawn, actually. Probably it's better for me to change my spawn, but. Yeah, I should have changed my spawn. I was thinking we were going to do the, like, the stairway to heaven thing. But that didn't happen. What would be cool is if we did like a, okay, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, uh, how to describe my thought process, but I was thinking we would do something different there, my bad. Man, 290, people haven't even hit the level cap, I mean, that's not surprising. Like, I don't even know how you... How- what is there- I would be so curious to know how many matches that person has played. I would be so curious to know how many battles. Because that's a lot. To get to level 290? Right, they- like- I mean, like, I've played 10,000 matches, and I'm only level 88, so they- I mean, they probably at least, like, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, even. That's a lot of Identity 5 to play. Like, that's a lot of Identity 5 to play. Like, sheesh. How do you have the time? I guess maybe it's a pro player. And they practice a lot. And that could make sense. But I guess... I guess most pro players probably, you know, well, I mean, it wouldn't even make sense on NAU because, you know, we don't have, like, you know, a pro league. But, you know, like, actual competitive teams like an IVL, right? Like, they practice probably, you know, at least for a good portion of the day. Which is fair because they're a competitive team, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of their job. Oh, they, they, they really coming over here? Okay, let's not lag, please. But, like, I don't... They would probably be mostly probably doing uh, scrims, or... I don't know if they'd be playing, like, actual, like, ranked mode or whatever. Maybe they are. I don't know, chat. Man, I'm getting actually some lag this match. I'm not happy about this. Alright, playing on smooth ping is, uh... Much nicer than not doing that. Where did that leech come from? Wait, where the heck is this harpy? I'm so confused. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see it now.
All right, well, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to be crazy. Can I get an angle? I got an angle for a silence. That's helpful. That's so helpful. I just need to go give up and probably yeah decode. Where the heck are the other ciphers though? Where are the ciphers that we haven't completed? Okay, there's one up here. I, you know what I should have done? I should have set up a couple mini flashlights. But I was so sure she was going to go for like that closer chair. I forgot about this one. The one that the Dream Witch actually went to. Our first officer just needs to come to my cipher, basically. And I'm... A I'm gonna be the rescuer. We hope that I don't throw. And we can maybe get a win. It's basically how it's gonna shake. Unless first officer gets a uh, hit, which would be really bad if that happened. Okay, or first officer is just gonna go in himself, which I disagree with. I think he should come to my cipher, but he has the watch tide turner, so he he could do it. Yeah, that's what, exactly what he's doing. Now I don't like this play. I think I should be the one going, but whatever. Oh, he got the rescue off. You got off, actually, without anyone getting hit somehow. Alright, there we go. Oh, again, never mind. I misjudged the officer. I thought it would be way better if I would go, but... He made it go off literally perfectly. And the leech hit, I think that was, as well, which is super good. Yeah. Watch the movie for class? Nice. Class movies are really fun. The worst part is, though, is the part that always ruined it for me is when teachers would hand out, like, work packets to complete, like, well watching the movie. Which I always hated. Like, I understand doing work after the movie, but, like, doing, like, big, like, fill-in-the-blanks or whatever while watching always really annoyed me, and I never downloaded any of the information. Maybe that's dyslexia, but... <laughs> I, always, I hated that so much. Oh, I see. They were... I thought they would... I thought they cancelled the patrol. Okay, well... Maybe not. Well played to officer. He did good things. He did very, very good things. We got 22 points off of achieving uh, Griffin 2, so. Oh no, yeah, I mean, I'm saying there's a chance that this can happen this session. It's not the, it's not a big chance. It's not that big of a chance. But yeah, my big fear there was that First officer can make that rescue because he has the tide turner from the watches, right? But I was kind of scared that he was going to get downed because the tide turner doesn't last a long time from the watch. And then the dream witch was going to pick him up and chair him. And then chase psychologist. So it would be like kind of a... And then she would be able to have a leech on the officer with detention and chase someone else and be able to get a draw. Like, that was kind of my fear in that situation. Which is why I thought that I should probably go. Because it's a, you know, it's a little bit less free to double down me. Because I'm at full health. Unless I get cut off early from the chair. But yeah, first officer made it work, so. These things don't need to be thought about. Not one bit or at all. Yeah, anyway. Something new in the event store. This doesn't happen very often. Oh, it's a character day thing. I like 13 of these character day tokens. Should... By the... Oh, there's an emote as well. 
Those are those interesting emotes. <laughs> I don't know, I never really take um, part in a lot of the character days, so I generally don't, uh, I generally don't get the stuff right away. New Guard 26 animation? I already have watched it. I already have. I've been watching all of the, um, the Arnold and Friends shorts or whatever they're called. They're pretty interesting. You know, I loved seeing Guard 26. Very adorable. Right. What they need to do is release, like, these as... Like, okay. The thing they need to do is release the, the Arnold and Friends, like, characters. They need to release them as one of two things. Either plushies, alright, little plush things that you can, like, place in your room. Or, uh, like, miniature hunter pets. Alright, one of the two, alright? They need to exist as either pets or, like, room decorations. Please. Or, like, just actual plushies on, like, the merch store. I would also probably buy that. Alright. Guard 26 would be mine. That was very adorable, though. It's always, it's always interesting to watch them. It's, I, I mean, I'm a little bit surprised... That this is even a thing that they're doing, but it's cool. Hmm. Clown puppet is an A-tier costume. I know, I've seen it. I hate that costume. I hate that costume so much. It should not be a costume. It should not be a costume. Right, every part of that costume really annoys me. I don't know what it is. That costume does really... Like, it gets on my nerves. I really don't know why. Oh yeah, I saw the new Wu-Chang thing. I don't know anything about the package, though. Like, is the package, like, a separate thing that you have to buy? On, like, the merch store or whatever? Because I, I didn't really see. I only saw the skin and what it did. And, I mean, frankly, I'm not interested because it's a Wu Chang skin. I won't be buying it. Right? I don't. Wu Chang always gets like really nice skins though, and especially his accessories are always so good. Oh, I see. I see how it works. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not interested in a Wu Chang skin, but Wu Chang always has really, really nice uh, accessories because it, I don't know. I guess his abilities just have so much that you can do with them. Got the priestess package. Honestly, I should have got the priestess one. I didn't. I didn't bother. It's a little bit too pricey for me. Yeah. I don't even know if you can still buy the priestess package. It probably is off sale by now. But yeah, like it was nice, but just, I don't know. I can't justify that much money for like IDV stuff. Well, I guess I can, but. The figure is cool. The figure for me, though, is, like, not, is, like, not that much value because I can just, like, I can rip the actual character models from the game and just 3D print it. So I can just make my own figures. It, it does require significantly more work because um, you need to remove, like, the supports and stuff or make your own supports and then, like, um, paint it. But for me, it's just, like... I always have a hard time buying, like, figurines and stuff because I can just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just have that. So I've always had a hard time justifying getting those.
But yeah. It is a cool figure, though. This is a really cool figure. I don't know, do I have, like, sound, like... Why am I in FX? Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll deal with this later. But yeah. Oh, well, someone else is going for it. I will not do that then. Anyway, um, yeah. Cool IDV merch stuff. I should go browse through the, the official merch store, see if there's anything interesting. Last time I did, there was some stuff that it was like, I don't know, it would be kind of cool, but it's just too expensive. You know, like, buying, like, decoration things for me, just because, like, like I, like I mentioned before, like, I have a 3D printer, so... I can just do a bunch of it myself and, like, fine-tune it to me the way I want it. Instead of, like, buying, like, a, I don't know, like a, like a poster or something. Like, I can just, I can just 3D print one and it costs significantly less and I can also do whatever I want on it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is, it is a little bit more work than just, like, buying something, but I feel like for the amount of money that it actually does save, it's worth it. Dang, that was actually some pretty solid mind games from Toy Merchant. My Toy Merchant is cooking right now. And I'm just decoding here in the corner, trying to... Trying to remain... Hidden. Okay, well that's not great. There are better things that could be happening right now, that's for sure. Go away, you monster! Somehow... Wait, that hits the fence?! It doesn't go over the fence?! Oh! No! I hate you! How does that not go over the fucking fence? You're kidding! I didn't know- I thought it went over the fence, chat! Oh my god, my coordinator flare guns today, like, I've missed both of them. In my defense, that should- alright, that should not be- be stopped by the fucking fence, alright? That's stupid. Right, that is- that is- that is what we call bullshit. Right, here on the O7 channel. That is that is what we call unfair nonsense. Okay, well, that was deserved. Oh, I'm so salty. I mean, he switched to teleport, so he's probably going to TP to this gate, which means Toy Merchant should probably... Oh, he's gonna physically go to the gate and teleport back to the chair. Well, no, that's not gonna work if the rescue comes quickly, though. If, if the rescue comes fast, then it would be okay. I don't know where the toy merchant- wait, where did the toy merchant go? Oh, they're there. I was very confused for a second. Yeah, oh, he came all the way back. Bro actually, like, traveled the distance so quickly. Ah, uh, this is bad. Hello, watch. Oh, but the embalmer has my face, though. The embalmer does have my face, so maybe this can be salvaged. Um, but- oh no, the coffin was already placed on someone else, I forgot about that detail. Uh, this is not great. Dungeon, please be here. <laughs> I don't remember if I saw it anywhere else. I only get two shakes. I forgot about that also. Fuck. 
Uh, I don't know where Toy Merchant was. I don't know if I don't know if they took a long time to rescue or not. I can't believe it. I can't believe the flare gun does not go over. Chat, when was the last time you had a you had a gun that was stopped by like a a picket fence that was not even as tall as you? The fact that it collides with that is like criminal, actually criminal. Oh, that's so annoying. I just... <sighs> it's funny and sad. Okay, in my defense. In my defense, chat, alright, before that's clipped and taken out of context. Who else, alright, raise your hand. Who else thought that it, it could go over the fence, alright? Like, normally, if a wall is blocking you and the hunter, it, it doesn't allow you to shoot the gun. Like, if, if you're standing on the other side of the wall than the hunter, like, it will not let you shoot the gun at them. But apparently, this counts as, like, an obstacle that the gun hits? Which I didn't even know those were a thing. I thought it could go over, like, the half-height obstacles, but apparently not. Oh, the salt. Oh, Cookie's skipping class. Yeah, pulling a pulling a Yo Seven. Skip class all the time. Probably, probably not the best idea though. <laughs> Pro probably, probably, maybe not the not the most smart move. All right, but I respect it nonetheless. Which hunter has the best late game? Um, I don't know. There's a few strong contenders. Like Dream Witch's late game is amazing. Like if you can get leeches out, Mad Eyes has a pretty good late game. Uh, Shadow has an extremely strong late game. Un or um, not undead. Breaking Wheel has a really strong late game. Clerk has a really strong late game. I would say those are like the top hunters. I think I think Shadow definitely has the strongest late game. But providing you can get presence, Breaking Wheel has a crazy good late game. Dream Witch has a crazy good late game if you can get leeches on the field. Uh, Mad Eyes, if the monitors on certain maps can have like a super strong late game. Hell Ember, if he gets presence, can have a super strong late game. And, um, who's the other one? Clark. Yeah, Clark, uh, Clark, if she has, like, presence, can have a really strong late game. She multitasks well. She can be super scary. So, yeah, th those would be, those would be what I would say. But, uh, their strong late game does depend on, a lot of times anyway, on having a pretty decent early game. So there is that. Yeah, breaking wheels just super good in general. And don't, I don't know if the new survivor skin looks like hot Cheetos, but you know what, we'll have it. All right, I'm I'm having okay coordinator redemption. Third time is the char charm chat. I'm gonna hit my flare gun this game. Oh, bro, the flame for banning op. <laughs> okay. All right, then, man. That's like they're they're playing doctor. Okay, okay. Can can we just can we just all appreciate the irony of being like, oh, dumb survivors, you ban, you ban opera singer. So now we're gonna lose, and then they lock in doctor, who is debatably a troll character. Well, psychologist is already locked. All right, can, can we just all appreciate the irony of, of what just happened right there? 
All right, like that's <laughs> they spawn. They spawn in literally the worst place too. They're trolling on purpose. This person, there's no way this person is not trolling on purpose right now. Oh my gosh, bro, bro, get them out of here. Get them out of here. Oh no, they're this is crazy. This is this is this is why we lose games, chat. All right. Why <laughs> we lose? Games. Well, you know what? We're not going to win probably because of this doctor. Let's just have some fun with it. Let's just have some fun with it. <laughs> shall we Shall we time how long their kite is, by the way? Because the hunter's probably going for them. Shall we time how long it takes for them to, to get downed? But it would be... Oh, it's not, even, it's not even a shadow anyway. It's an undead. Undead. Bad character. Okay, so they got first hit. I think probably no less than five seconds into the game. Oh, they got to heal off. All right, credit where credit's due. They did actually heal, which is hard to do against undead. Well, okay, you know what? They're not actually kiting too bad. I'll give it to them. I'll give it to him. I, w I was I was ready, chat. I had my rotten tomatoes in hand. I was I was ready to throw some, I was ready to throw some overdone fruit at them, but they're they're not doing too horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Getting like. <laughs> They're, they're kiting, which is making me angry and also happy because they're kiting, which makes us winning the game easier, but also I, I don't want them to do well. They were toxic and mean. <laughs> right? This is not, this is not the people that I want to cheer for. But you know what? Whatever, I guess if it, if it means I get points, I guess I can't be that mad about it. Anyway. Oh, this cipher's done. Doctor's back up. Doctor can probably heal as well. Oh, he has the new trait. See, I don't like the new trait for Percy. Alright, I think this is not a good trait for him. Like, it is to an extent, right? Because you can get back specifically to where you want. But I think he's just better with the teleport still. All right, he just TPs to the gate, or not to the gate, to a cipher, and he just changes targets. I feel like that's just a, I don't know, the most optimal way. I, mean, I guess the new trade, the more I'm thinking about it, the new trade isn't bad for him. The new trade is not bad at all. Man, dude, wanted order twice, really? Oh, these are used. Well, the dungeon's here. Oh, right. I forgot about undeads. Um, and it's like, well, so much for... Uh, well, technically, I hit the flare gun. It just didn't do anything. <laughs> technically, I did still hit the flare gun. But the flare gun was just not successful. I thought these pallets were still here. These pallets were definitely not still here. I don't know why I thought that, because this is where doctors started kiting. I don't... And obviously they would be used, but... Yeah, I kind of... I kind of assumed that these would be... These would be here, that they were not. Well, they propped up doctor again. I mean, I'm close to popping. Not close enough. We can still draw this out, maybe. He might get over to me too quickly, though. He definitely gets over to me too quickly, though. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna play games, I guess. Pretty much how it's gonna be. We're just gonna go with this back and forth shit. Uh, 
Wait, it's Prime. Pop it, though. Why would you not pop it? Why wait for a Prime on Undead? Oh, shit. Oh, this is gone too? Man, is everything used? Oh, he still got me with that too. Man, the entire map is like missing over here. There's like nothing. Man, that was not my strongest game, chat. That was not my strongest game at all. You can do tandem kites to the catapults, so that's cool. I don't think Toy Merchant has been, um, has been actually downed yet, so... Well... I was thinking about crawling to the gate. Well, they can still self-heal ones. Depending how stupid the undead is. Yeah. Oh, I thought he teleported away. No such luck. Yeah, this is a loss. To be fair, this is kind of a loss is my fault. He's doing some stupid shit. Uh, this is, uh, this is my throw. Could have, could have played that better. Man, Coordinator is just not up my alley today. Good lord. Do you think the the doctor's gonna flame me in the in the post match? It'll be funny. Do we have time for another minute game? Vaughn, Vaughn, leave the deduction. There we go. Oh, they, they exited the chat channel. I'm sad. I wanted to get flamed by the doctor. Right, I, wa I wanted to laugh at some toxicity. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's always next game. Yeah, just... I don't know. Not, not optimal play for me against an undead. I kept assuming that there'd be resources where there were just not resources, and I don't know why I thought there would be. Yeah. Would be, it would be really nice if a flare gun had worked, but I didn't, th I really am surprised he had 50% um, energy there. Uh, to be able to cancel the stun. I didn't think he would have it, hence why I used the gun. But uh, he did, I guess, so. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, lucky guy, lucky guy, better than, uh, better than coordinator. Kind of, kind of true. It depends, some, it depends on situation. can be true sometimes. It can be true sometimes. Yeah. I got a bit of a headache. I don't know why. I'm getting more and more of them recently. Uh but yeah, anyway. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't have anything to anyway to. I might play rank later, depends. I don't know if I'll stream it later. And we'll see. We will see. I might just play on my own. Streaming is um kind of tiring. You you wouldn't think it. You would not think it, but streaming can be really tiring sometimes. <laughs> Alright, trying to be like, you know trying trying to keep up happy personality is hard on some days. Yeah, I've been, like, trying to drink water. Like, not drinking that much water, though. It's probably that. 
Cowboy ban. Cowboy ban is crazy, actually. Cowboy ban actually is kind of crazy. Shh. Guess I'll play this. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I had, like, breakfast, and I had some, like, liquid at breakfast. I just haven't really been drinking water throughout the day. I mean, you're supposed to drink a really large amount of, uh, I don't know, a, a really large amount of water, <laughs> generally. You know, you're supposed to drink a lot. I don't drink as much as you're supposed to. I don't think many people really do. I do try to drink some, though. Although, I gotta think of a new system, because I want to get a second monitor, because it would be super helpful when streaming. This is why I've been going into Best Buy, by the way. And, you know, which fuels my Best Buy hatred rants. I still hate Best Buy. Everything about Best Buy I still despise. But yeah, I want to get a second monitor, because it would be helpful when streaming. Uh, but I don't know where I'm going to put my water when I, if I get a second monitor, because it's going to take up, like, the entirety of my desk to have two monitors on here. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe I should get a monitor at Staples. It's Staples, actually. I should go there. I think they have, like, monitors. See what they have. I don't really know any other tech stores that have them. Because I know, I know a good place to go buy, like, different parts for my PC, but I don't know... Yeah, it is a Dreamwish. I don't know where to go get, like, actual monitors. Speaking of PCs, though, ordering in a couple Raspberry Pis. I'm very excited for those. Uh, you're gonna do some fun things on there. Uh, lots of different fun things on there. Obviously, one is for, like, the actual router. I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna set, like, the router up with Pi Hole. Just so that it's nicer for everyone. It's been something I've been meaning to do for a while, but the other one is for a cool thing that will not be revealing the cool thing yet, but it is for a cool thing that I hope will uh, purport to the channel. I'm really, really crossing my fingers that it will work. Uh, if it doesn't, I will be sad, but hopefully it does. But yeah. I know, I don't know what it is about Best Buy, but it's like, literally the worst. There's, this is true, like, there's no good tech places. You know, like, where I live, I live in, like, a pretty big city, too. And near me, we have, like, a, we have a GameStop, we have a Best Buy, and we have a Staples. It's, like, the only places where you can go to get, like, technology stuff. Like, the only big places, anyway. And then there's, like, a, um, a smaller computer shop. Which is where I go when I need, like, computer stuff, like, quickly. What is this mercenary doing? Are you not going to rescue my friend? I'm confused. But yeah, and then there's, like, a couple phone repair places that don't have a lot. There's no, like, good place to go get, like, cool technology stuff. You gotta buy it all online. I don't like buying online. Go in in person. And see it. This is why I hate Best Buy so much, maybe. Is that, that fucking QR code drives me actually bonkers. Actually so bonkers, alright? Like, I am dro driven up the wall and, like, halfway across the ceiling by these stupid QR code price, like, tag things. Holy sh... <laughs> It's not hard to just list all of it there. Oh, it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad even talking about it, chat. If you if you can't tell. If you couldn't already tell. I forgot to switch the screen. See, this is why I need a second monitor. Yeah, well, at least the one that... Um, at least the one that I... Is near me. Has, like, QR codes. Like, you can see the price, at least. But... If you want to see, like, the actual details, you gotta scan the QR code. 
and go to like the stupid website and it doesn't work half the time and it's like can i just have it printed please oh wait mercenary went here but i pinged that i was going Ay ay ay. Mercenary gets the the toy merchant because toy merchant needs tide turner. Yeah. Bro, that is so real, Aggy. Like I feel kind of old when I when I complain about this, but it's like I I do I want to be able to see and like. You know, like, examine what I'm buying before I buy it. You know, I like, I don't... I don't like ordering online stuff and then, like, figuring out if it's what I want after the fact. Oh, I hate that so fucking much. Where's Toy Merchant? I want to harass if I can. Where are they? Oh, they died in here. Okay, maybe I can get it then. Uh, can I beat them here? Oh, no, I went the wrong way! I forgot this wasn't the other ship! Oh, wait, they went to basement. Never mind. I thought they were going to this top chair. But yeah, like, when I was ordering my 3D printer, right, it was, like, literally the most stress of my life. Because I, I wasn't sure if it was, like, what I wanted or not. Do you want me to, like, stun this? And we can just pop the cypher? Okay. Yeah. What's up, Masami? How's it going? Ah, marginally late. Then depending on what your definition of late is. Lay is in, been streaming for a while. What the fuck? Why is that not stun? Why the first one not stun? Wait, what? I don't understand. Why the first? Why the first bamboo skewer attack not? Not like not 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 poke him into the wall. Oh my god, I, well, I'm glad I have three. That scared the shit out of me, though. One point, thank you, Netties. Well, 20 points away from getting the thing that I wanted to get to today. It didn't really go up many points. I think we went up, like, 20-ish points today. I was hoping to do double that, but, hey, you know what? It's a positive day. And you cannot complain about a positive day. Only... Only add purporting to uh, stream activities. Yeah, I I mean this is still I'm I'm not even close. I really really want to get tier seven this season. I want it so bad, chat. I want it so fucking bad this this season. I really want to get there. Really, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to make it happen, though. Been trying. I mean, I've had mostly positive days, but I don't know if they're as positive as I need them to be. This is the problem. Like, generally, my sessions, I go up at least a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't have negative sessions usually. Like, usually, usually it's positive days. But I need my days to be more positive. Like, I don't know if I'm on pace to to get to it. I'm going to be... I'm going to get a new best, I think, if I keep on this pace. But I don't think I'm going to quite get to tier 7. But, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see where it takes us. Anyway. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go have lunch. So, I, I, I might stream later. We'll see. I'll... We'll see how I feel if I'm doing stuff or not. If things come up. It depends. Could be one of those days. No promises. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, remember, don't be like me. Stay hydrated. Eat healthy. 
Well, I do I do the latter. <laughs> and don't don't stay as hydrated as I should, but you should all stay hydrated. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one.